The city is announcing a major investment to boost arts and cultural programming. Arts 77 is a recently announced arts program directing an initial investment of $60 million into grants for local artists, public art installations, and cultural programming all across the city. Chicago's Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events, the Park District, and other city agencies say they hope the initiative will help boost an urban arts industry that is wounded right now by the COVID-19 pandemic shutdown. And joining us are Mark Kelly. Commissioner of the Chicago Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events and photographer Tanika Johnson, one of five artists selected to receive a $100,000 artist response grant through the program. Welcome both of you to uh, Chicago tonight. Um, first, thank you for being here. Mark, uh, what was the impetus for this $60 million program and where is the money coming from? Well, first of all, the impetus, the arts are central to the Chicago world, world cultural capital. Sometimes we don't recognize that or honor that. But why did 57 million tourists come in 2019 Chicago? It's because of the cultural vitality of the city, the parks, the museums, theater, music across the city. And no industry has been more devastated by the pandemic. All our stages are empty, our clubs are closed, our artists are unemployed. And so we, we need to bring back the arts landscape. We need to support them and they will play this huge role in bringing back the city. We need a sense of belonging, we need a, a sense of meaning and that's what the arts gives to us. So this 60 million, it comes from a variety of sources. Uh, 15 million uh, public art is, comes from the infrastructure uh, budget that was just passed by the city. Those are public feet. art to insta installations that uh, that you're going to install. I, I want to get to the specifics of sure. where this revenue is going in a minute. But first, that uh, Tanika, uh, you're a well-known photographer. You focus your art on social justice issues. Tell tell me what this hundred thousand dollar grant you're receiving through this program means to you and your ability to carry out your mission. Oh, it means that I will be able to work on uh, my next project, which is an invite for people to come to Greater Inglewood because it's focusing on the historic discriminatory housing practices that were done to would-be black homeowners in the 50s and 60s through land sale contracts. And so my project and this funding will allow me to make visible this hidden history by creating land markers in Greater Inglewood of those homes that still exist while also educating people about the present day impact this period had on neighborhoods like Greater Inglewood. So not only is it educational, but it will also be an invite to this neighborhood to learn more about it. So this funding will allow me to do that project in partnership with National Public Housing Museum. And we're looking at some of your work right now, and I'm sure that'll be a draw uh, to Englewood. Uh, Mark, so you started to break down. So it's $50 million for public art installations across the city, including some at the new O'Hare terminals being constructed. What are the other uh, programs that this money is going to? Well, it's, it's $15 million for public art, and this is the biggest investment in public art in the history of the city going to our neighborhoods. It's $3.5 million in public art that will go to the uh, reimagining the international terminal at O'Hare with the largest acquisition of work of Chicago artists in decades. It's $40 million for the Culture in My Neighborhood project. This is in partnership with Chicago Park District, Chicago Public Libraries. We have cultural centers largely on the south and west side of the city. Think the uh, Austin Town Hall, the South Shore Cultural Center, but they haven't lived as cultural space mm. and they haven't been renewed. And so it's a major capital investment to bring them forward. And then we engage the communities and we bring, bring them forward so that they live as cultural spaces. And then all kinds of just grand programs like what you just heard from uh, Tomika. So uh, Chicago presents over $1 million for free outdoor cultural events, theater, music, dance, across the city just to bring the life and energy back to the city. There'll be uh, another $1 million for neighborhood access programs. These are for cultural uh, events in neighborhoods that have been largely disinvested in terms of cultural life. And so then we have to make, go ahead. A way, a way to really activate uh, these neighborhoods. You mentioned some of those c uh, cultural centers like the Austin Town Hall, beautiful buildings uh, out there. So Tanika, one of the things you've drawn a lot of acclaim for is your folded maps project. Remind us what that project was. Oh, uh, it is a visual exploration of the present day impact of Chicago's segregation 
while also bringing residents together who live on the same street but miles apart from the north and south side. And we're looking at some pictures here. So basically, it's the same address, uh, one address north, say like 5400 north, meeting up with 5400 south. And I yeah. mean, what, what, what came out of that project? What, did, what kind of reaction did it get? Um, well, the response from uh, Chicagoans in general kind of demonstrates that, you know, we do want a different city, that our segregation does not reflect how we truly want to interact. And so that was consistent across the board with all of the MAP twins. And I think that is what is primarily led to the popularity of the project is that it represents how us Chicagoans feel about our city and it demonstrates the many ways in which we disrupted and how we have to continue to do so. Art and art, that's the power of art. That's what art can do. Mark, uh, tell us uh, how artists can apply for some of these grants, some of the grants like the one that uh, Tanika has. Just go to chicagoculturalgrants.org, go to the DK's website. Um, actually, some of these programs we've tried to strip through the bureaucracy so that it's easier to apply. We want to make sure that diverse communities feel welcomed as, as we put forward this. And I should say, this is just the first installment. Does this, does this 60 million, um, it helps in the recovery, but, but the need is great. And there's announcements to follow because uh, we all need the arts back in Chicago. The arts give us that joy that, that we're all desperate for. And we're going to start to see the momentum come back. The mojo is coming back to the arts landscape of Chicago. Mojo, another great Chicago artist, Muddy Waters, got my mojo rising right. there. All right, uh, my mojo working, not mojo rising. All right, uh, thanks to uh, Mark Kelly and Tanika Johnson. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.